Today we're going to cover securing your PowerShell remote session and I'm terribly sorry that I haven't covered this earlier it just never occurred to me that other people aren't that familiar with it so here then we're going to first look at the problem if I create a new PowerShell session to my remote server in this case server 1 what we're going to get is a, a brand new session and nowhere in this do we generate any uh, certificate based authentication so if I go ahead and say okay use uh, SSL what I'm going to get back is an error and the reason I get back an error is because by default unless it's specified somewhere in group policy or otherwise there is no certification or cert set up so now that we have this uh, example of the problem we're going to go ahead and show you how to solve this by fixing it but before we do that we'd like to remind you to give us a like if you're enjoying this video so far so the problem here is that the remote connection or endpoint that we're trying to get to doesn't have a uh, HTTPS session set up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically configure it um, but before I do so I'm just going to prove that we can enter a session and what it looks like at the moment so I'm not just going to flip across to the remote machine yet, I'm just going to connect to it first and show you the get uh, child items on the um, WinRM, so this is the Windows Management uh, Remote Service that runs the session. So if I just do the uh, WSMAN, uh, localhost, uh, listeners, and then what you'll get back is the, the running listener so in this case we can see that the transportation is HTTP which is where our problem lies we haven't got any form of encryption currently running on that machine so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to that machine and normally you would do this in the build process or via um, let's say uh, some post uh, hardening of the OS but we're just going to run through each one of the steps as is so we're now on our server one so this is our remote host that we are trying to work with and we're going to go ahead and configure the HTTPS on it so there's a couple of steps um, first of all we are going to go ahead and get rid of the existing authentication and we're going to create a brand new authentication using a certificate so first of all let's create a certificate that's not too difficult and for those of you who have followed in previous videos you know that you can create self signs do not recommend self signed certificates um, always use your PK authority where possible and one of the reasons for this is that it will be an untrusted certificate on our existing um, jump machine we'll cover that a little bit later because um, it will come up so we now have a certificate created on the machine now what we're going to do is we're going to simply go ahead and remove the existing authentication where object and you can see we've got a match here and that's going to rip out our current authentication so now that's done we don't have any authentication listener or in this case any listener for the WS man localhost listener so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one and what we're going to do is not just create it but we're also going to specify within it to use our uh, thumbprint from our certificate which we created earlier so we've told it to use the HTTPS and we've told it to use that thumbprint and the output you can see is that we now have a protocol which is HTTPS and the certificate that will be used was the one that we created earlier we can then do a quick get and view child items and we can see what's configured you would also have the option here to potentially configure the uh, IP addressing if you wanted to restrict who could actually connect to the listener so what we're going to do is go back to our original machine which we can already see on the screen we're going to try the connection and as you can see that failed very quickly because our original HTTP is no longer available so we can't connect with HTTP so we're going to force a HTTPS session and in order to do that because unfortunately we don't have a trusted root certificate here because we have a self sign so I've got to first go ahead and create a new session option which is to tell it to skip the uh, check certificate because if I don't what I'm going to do is get an error again and then obviously we have no remote session so in here we just need to go new PS session and then we tell it to skip CA check 
and then that's going to be our session option. We're then going to pass that session option into our uh, new PS session. So now that's typed out. We go ahead and I'm just going to go enter and then we got the remote computer and then we're going to say use H uh, SSL and then we're going to say session options and here's our session option variable. And that should now give us the connection without any problems over HTTPS. So we now have a nice secure connection to our remote machine. We can see that it is our remote machine and it's that simple. You see we did in what was it, four or five commands uh, a quick setup and that could be potentially automated even more with your post installation. Now if you like this video you know what to do, if you didn't you also know what to do and as always subscribe for more content.